Today we're taking a look at improving your frame rates in flight gear using the rendering options. Many people seem to have low frame rates in flight gear, but sometimes flight gear's performance can easily be improved by changing the rendering options. So let's look at those rendering options. On the left side of the window you'll find the object options. It seems to me that those don't really have much impact on flight gear's performance, but a little lower you'll find 3D clouds. Switching these off might help more. Yes, your clouds will look flat, but if it means smooth flying, you might want to consider switching them off. Same goes for the material shaders. These are responsible for the fancy graphics in flight gear, like the water reflections and the land textures. I find that switching these off gives flight gear's performance quite a boost as you can see here. The land doesn't even look so bad, but the frame rate is higher. With the performance quality slider, you can adjust the general level of shader usage. Moving it all the way to the left will give you better frame rates, and moving it to the right will give you better graphics. Another shader you can experiment with is the sky dome scattering. This replaces the regular sky with a more realistic looking sky. And finally, if your frame rate is usually quite high, you might want to try the urban effects shader. This makes all the cities very 3D-ish, but as you can see it will have a big impact on your frame rate. With the release of Flight Gear 2.6 coming soon, the rendering options window is going to change and it's going to have more options. So look forward to that in the next Flight Gear update.